Right now, we're at one degree of warming. We're seeing terrible impacts from wildfires to heat waves to hurricanes, and that's going to just multiply as the world warms. Um, what will start to kick in uh, pretty soon, at, you know, by mid-century and, and more, is sea level rise. So that'll begin with intermittent flooding during high tides in a lot of coastal cities. At two degrees, there's a world that decides to just, you know, be authoritarian and delay and do nothing, or there's a world that decides, you know, let's go full scale Green New Deal with carbon removal, and we mean it and we're gonna do it. That's the, the social choice there. With a lower greenhouse gas concentration, um, then impacts like heat waves, for example, might be less frequent or might be more analogous to the climate we had, you know, 30, 40, 50 years ago, right? So some of those climate system impacts um, would change again from what they've already become. Um, other things like melting ice, it's difficult to build that back up quickly um, because a lot of the ice that's been lost is really old ice. <laughs> so a lot of the ice that's still left in the Arctic is this very new ice that regrows each um, year. The climate impact that is really concerning is species loss, and that's something that doesn't come back. So can we reverse climate change by bringing down greenhouse gas concentrations? There's a, it's very nuanced. Some things are reversible, other things are forever. There could be a world at three degrees that just, um, you know, falls apart and there's kind of this kind of post-truth uncertainty about what's going on and different authoritarian leaders make use of that, or there could be a three-degree world of renewed cooperation that decides to embark on a solar geoengineering program. There's so many different uh, worlds and it really depends on, you know, the social choices we make, the political choices we make.